What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Hidden Figures. Hidden Figures is a biographical drama film that was co-written and directed by Theodore Melfi and is based on the book of the same name written by Margot Lee Shetterly. Okay, so Hidden Figures takes place in early 1960s Virginia where three women are working at NASA in very important positions but not getting the recognition they deserve. At this point in time, NASA is 100% focused on sending a man up to space in order to beat the Russians and ultimately combat communism. But at this point in time, Virginia is still a segregated state, and NASA really doesn't operate any differently. The African American women work in one section of the building and the Caucasians in the other section until eventually they realize they'll achieve their goals much quicker if they work in unison. And the rest of the film is spent primarily with our three women who make history while they overcome systemic oppression, while they also provide invaluable insight and expertise to the operation of the Friendship 7 mission where NASA attempts to have an astronaut orbit Earth. Okay, so I knew going into Hidden Figures that it had widespread critical acclaim, sporting a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes and a recently announced Best Picture nomination from the Academy. So needless to say, I went into this film with some pretty high expectations. And to be completely honest, I wasn't really that impressed with the first trailer, even though I watched it a number of times back when they were advertising the film. And while I definitely do think this is a pretty good movie, much better than the trailer led me to believe, I don't think it belongs in the conversation of Best Picture in my personal opinion. I think this film has a lot of strengths, but there were a couple glaring weaknesses for me as well. But I want to start with the strengths because, you know, positive thinking. Okay, so first off, I want to say that the acting in this film is very, very good. The three leading women are all funny and charismatic in their own way, but I have to say that I was most impressed by the work of Taraji Henson in the role of Catherine. Catherine is definitely the main character of this film, and she really does a great job of being genuinely likable and admirable. She's highly gifted intellectually, she has a good heart, and all the other things you require from a leading character. She's great. I also thought Kevin Costner really shined in this film. He plays the space director Al Harrison, and he was intimidating yet comfortable comforting at the same time, a tricky balance that he executed perfectly. The peculiar casting choice to me was Jim Parsons. Jim Parsons' character is pretty unlikable and he just didn't seem like a good fit for this role because of how basically everyone knows and loves him for being geeky and funny and likable. I think it's hard to look past Jim Parsons and into the character himself, which is a problem. But I also thought Hidden Figure's dialogue is very, very well written. There are some pretty clever lines of dialogue in this film that really add a lot of weight to the characters and their decision making. There's some other lines that will really make you dislike characters and even some others that will have you laughing and admiring them and that's all balanced pretty well. And finally the climax and ending. Hidden Figures delivers a very strong final 20 minutes or so because it takes all that build up frustration and happiness and everything else and packages it into a rewarding experience as you watch NASA attempt to achieve their goals. The closing minutes really make you feel a sense of attachment to these characters men and women included that you feel like you just worked with at NASA to help a man circle the earth. Okay so let's transition to the weaknesses now. The first being the music that was composed by Pharrell Williams. And I know what you're probably thinking. Well, it's just music, it's not that big of a deal. But it really is because music plays an incredibly important role in film because without it, you wouldn't feel nearly the rush of emotions that you otherwise would from what you're seeing on screen. But in regards to the music composed by Pharrell Williams, it just never felt like it fit and coincided with what I was seeing on screen. I felt like I was more focused on the song than I was the story and that's a problem because it sucks you out of that immersive experience. His songs show up a handful of times in this film and while they sound great, they just don't fit this story that well. So as a result, it feels really forced and actually has the opposite effect music is supposed to. It diminished the emotional impact of certain scenes for me. Another issue I have with Hidden Figures is the pacing or general flow of the film. There are some really, really well done scenes that are uplifting and will really hit you hard right in the feels, and then they're occasionally followed by a scene that's the complete opposite of uplifting. There's really no recovery time at all, and to go from one extreme to the other so quickly is problematic because you need time to recover, and I Ideally, there should be a gradual introduction of obstacles for our characters. I also felt sometimes the story can tend to toy with your emotions in a way that feels predictable and formulaic. There's not much Hidden Figures does that feels all that new. I get it's based on true events, but most of the beats in this film you can see playing out from a mile away, and there's very little if any surprises. But overall, I did still really enjoy Hidden Figures, but it's not quite in the best picture conversation for me. I thought it had some really strong acting from a strong cast, some really likable and fun characters, some very well written dialogue, and a very very powerful climax and ending. Sadly, I also thought the music was distracting from time to time, there's some pacing issues, and the story could at times feel a bit too predictable and formulaic. I'm going to give Hidden Figures an 8 out of 10 and recommend you see this one in theaters if you're looking for a well acted and uplifting drama film. So did you guys see Hidden Figures yet? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me know whether you'd be interested in watching this film or not. And as always, if you like this video, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for much more content like this. That's all for now though. This 
is Wolfoxification signing off. See you in the next review.